Hello and a very warm welcome to the first weekend of the new series of the Furacea FEI Nations Cup. We're here in Alain. It is a tremendous pleasure for me to be joined this weekend by Abdullah Al Mari. Abdullah, who's top in the global rankings for the UAE in show jumping. Abdullah, thank you very much indeed for joining us on FEI TV. Now, this weekend here in Alain, three teams have got the opportunity to qualify for the Barcelona, just two slots in that final in September. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and the UAE. It's going to be a tough competition. Tell us what you think. It's, it's uh, definitely a quite uh, close call for all three teams. Uh, obviously, Qatar has been uh, winning the most uh, recently. Uh, they won uh, one of the legs in the, in the final in Barcelona last year. And uh, also, the Asian Games was a big boost for them. So, I mean, on top of that, last year, they won the Forosia final against all the European and the world teams that, that came to, to Abu Dhabi last year. So, they're, uh, I think, the, the team to watch out uh, of and then uh, I think uh, Saudi we, we can never uh, you know never count them as, as a weak link because they have a few riders who've been in the Olympics and the World Equestrian Games they have a vast amount of experience with them so I think it's uh, it's I think our country trying to to beat these two uh, it's gonna be a tough one but uh, we wish our country the United Arab Emirates the best but uh, hopefully you know they have a good chance Abdullah, there are some very strong riders in the sport of show jumping in the Middle East. Let's just look at one or two. For example, Mufta for UAE. Tell me about Mufta. Uh, Muftah is actually uh, riding for uh, Fazza team and he's the uh, crown prince of Dubai. Uh, they've got uh, very much good support uh, recently. So he has a string of uh, fabulous horses. He moved in the FEI Longines ranking list uh, tremendously in the last few months. So he's uh, probably the rider to watch out for, uh, you know, in, in the United Arab Emirates. He's, I think, the rider that most of the riders would, would count on with the good results to, to probably make the difference at the end. And Qatari, as we know, they've won here twice, often led by Sheikh Ali bin Khalid Al Thani, another very strong rider with, with a nice team of horses. Exactly. I, I don't think uh, Sheikh Ali has missed any of the Globals, uh, also any of the five stars in Europe uh, recently. They have a bigger plan of, of going to the Olympics at the moment, you know, and, and I think uh, this is just one step uh, to the way to the Olympics. Uh, they're in, in amazing form. I think he's in the top 50 uh, riders at the moment. You know, he's I mean, going in between uh, higher or lower, but he's a really good rider and, uh, and he's the one who won it for them last year. So. And of course, uh, Qatar last year qualified here for the um, Olympic Games. Let's just look at the King of Saudi Arabia, Kamal Bahamdan. Another very strong ride. Exactly. I mean, uh, he doesn't have his best uh, horse, Noblesse de Tess. Uh, he won a five-star in Saudi uh, in December, uh, end of last year. Uh, I mean, Kamal, whatever he does, he's always uh, predictable in, in the big events. Uh, he's, you know, a veteran when it comes to Olympics and World Equestrian Games. I, I think he did four in each one, you know, one of them. So he, he's, a, he's a top rider. And just staying with Saudi Arabia, Ramzi Hamad al Duhami. Again, another one who leads the team here tomorrow. Exactly, but uh, on top of that, he's been in amazing form in the Arab League. Uh, he won uh, one of the Grand Prix uh, in charge and he was second in another one. So, uh, And he o also qualified for the World Cup final in Gothenburg uh, later on in April. So he's also in a good form. I think he's probably having the best combination at the moment on the team. So we wish him the best. Well, 11 teams come forward for the competition this weekend. As we say, just three can get a slot for that big final in September in Barcelona. But it's going to be a fantastic competition here this weekend in the lane to get us on the road of the Furacier FEI Nations Cup Series.